ultimately what I'm trying to do is to challenge uh, stereotypes in the region, you know, because I know the reality. And, you know, some of the reality includes the fact that let's see, Bill Withers, Nina Simone, Roberta Flack, more than half the Negro League baseball teams, Pittsburgh, Birmingham, um, you know, northern Mississippi, northern Alabama, northern Georgia, uh, one county away from Atlanta, uh, that the geographical spaces, the people that include like a Jesse Owens, uh, the, you know, a Carter G. Woodson, the father of African American history, um, you, know, you know, Henry Louis Gates. I mean, there are so many key individuals who actually are from quote unquote Appalachia. Um, but the media control of what Appalachia is has been to skew towards the stereotype and protect this all white uh, space that's devoid of culture, um, you know, that presents these caricatures, not just shit, but caricatures. So you get these quote unquote hillbilly images and, and the Hatfields and McCoys and, um, you know, the overall straw eating. Uh, mountain man, you know, the violent, uh, you know, now if you look at what has happened with, with Justified, you add the drug cult culture into the violence, and before that, you know, what the Beverly Hillbillies did with showing this kind of naive ignorance uh, and buffoonery, uh, you know, that kind of discolored the whole region, but always leaving out all those other individuals, particularly individuals of color, you know, really did a job to uh, make people ashamed of the, the region. And they did such a good job, even people in the region believed that was the correct image because there are spaces that are 100% white. Uh, but, but never thinking about Appalachia as a whole, you know, I mean, we're talking about 13 states. Yeah. Um, and when people say, people now say Central Appalachia because they know that if they say Appalachia, then they're also talking about Birmingham, Alabama and Pittsburgh, you know, the home of August Wilson, you know, mm -hmm. 10 it's a nationally famous plays about black life. You know, how if you put that next to, you know, uh, little Abner, how does that hold up? You know, how does that challenge this? You know, it totally subverts the stereotype. Um, so for me, it's an easy thing to talk about. And my job as an educator is everybody's the audience because most people have been exposed to the to the caricature. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm trying to challenge what they already know, um, and for me, it's it's easiest to do by either being at a conference and speaking, uh, or on a panel and presenting, or writing and disseminating that work. Uh, so I do a lot of work. Through